What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 show and today we are going to learn the basics of input and key binding. It's gonna be a very easy show to follow and quick. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the quick uh, basics of some inputs in Unreal Engine. So let's go ahead and just open our third person character blueprint and uh, let's go here. So uh, I'm gonna show you uh, first of all uh, two basic ways that the they are the um, the main way of creating inputs uh, in Unreal Engine. Uh, so of course the first one, uh, for example, if you want to make that, uh, for example, uh, with a space bar you will uh, jump. Well, for example, I will go here. In my case, I'm gonna choose another key. Okay, and uh, this is the easiest way so you can just literally type like, for example e key okay or if with the e key you want to interact or whatever so just uh, write e key uh normally if you write e key uh pretty much all the keys will display but anyway just find one and then you see that we can do things with that uh so literally you know uh, we can do things when it's pressed so i can say that for example uh let's say that the character will uh basically jump um yeah like there okay and, and literally if I compile and save and then uh, press play uh, you will uh, see that I can basically uh, jump with the E key so right now I'm pressing E and I am actually uh, jumping now this is uh, the the quick way um, of making a uh, input a new input um, but it's not the proper way of making an input so you know you can make a lot of things with that just you know writing here like k uh key and then you know go ahead and find the k and then you can do things so i'm gonna show you the uh proper way of doing it so if we actually go uh here and some of the inputs in here you can see that we have like a input action jump instead of being like uh for example uh, space bar you know instead of being here this a uh, space bar and jumping that we have a custom uh, input action set with its own name but uh, basically jump uh, this is done in here so let me show you if we go uh, into edit and then project settings and we open the window you will be uh, you will see that in here in engine we just go back here into input and then in the top here you see bindings well there are two types of bindings um action mappings and axis axis i'm going to talk um just in a second but first of all let's talk about the action mappings so the action mapping is basically this one the jump where it's just like it's, it's basically like if you like i said if you like it's like if you had a uh, you know backspace or whatever a uh so space bar um, an input from like, like created from the blueprint or you can basically do it like here given a name so uh, the advantage of this apart from having its own name um, is that you can add multiple keys into this action uh, so for example uh, this is triggered with the spacebar and with the uh, gamepad face button uh, button which basically is uh, the the A button of the X in PlayStation. So I can literally just add here and say with a keyboard that with, for example, uh, K in here, K, and then just go here, compile and save. Well, you really don't need to compile and save, but anyway. And then if I press play and I uh, press K, also I am jumping because it is uh, assigned uh, in here in the uh, action mapping, in the jump, I can, uh, assign different keys or uh, you know uh, gamepad um, you know buttons that will trigger this so for example we can make a new one just add in here and for example this is uh, i don't know fire right so you will fire uh, so for example this will be in the mouse uh the left mouse button so basically uh, fire will trigger when we press the left mouse button so we go back in here and then say now fire you can see that we have our action event and it's pretty much the same like as mentioned before if i go here and say uh left mouse button so it's the same however in in if we do it from here from the project settings and input it's uh the proper way of doing things and we can have a much uh much more control over things that we, i can make it also for example with the uh gamepad that it is with the i don't know uh 
face button left okay which i think it is the uh like the square in playstation i'm not sure but in here and then i can say like for example i will print um hello okay so if i go press play and then hit um basically uh left uh, mouse button you can see there that i'm printing hello and if I would get right now my uh, controller, my gamepad, and press the button that I signed, it will also work. So that is really, really cool. Uh, now let's go ahead and talk about the access mappings. So I just I showed you the uh, act um, the action mappings, which are like basically a button or whatever. And the access mappings are, are basically like a, it's pretty much the same. But there's an, an value, an access value given into this. So the access uh, values are used, uh, for example, for a, a control movement. Okay. So we can see this in here. We can see where uh, it says move back, uh, forward, backwards. Or oh, the access value would uh, increase or decrease this uh, add movement input. So let me show you. Let's go here into price settings once again and go into input. So this this was the action mappings. The axis mappings, you can see that we have a whole bunch of them in this demo. And for example, the move forward and backward, uh, this one that we were seeing in here, will trigger with the W, S, or with the uh, uh, gamepad with the, uh, with the thumb, with the thumbstick okay or the y-axis on the left one and you can see that we have one more property uh, which is assigned into this axis mapping which is a scale so in our case w scale is one because that means that we want to go forward and then minus one which is in s it is because we want to go backwards if we go here you can see that the axis value is given into the scale value and here in the add, uh, add movement input so yeah, uh, um, of course, I think the action mappings are more simple. There's, uh, you know, it has a name and then the buttons that will trigger. The access mappings, they're a bit more complex. I mean, they have like uh, all the different, uh, you know, access values and scale that you need to have. But anyway, I think that was a really simple tutorial to, to learn the basics of it. So, uh, you know, if you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe and comment other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials they want to see. And with all that said, bye bye.